What's going on? So, uh, as you know, as you can tell by the thumbnail, uh, I have me some new shocks for the S10. And, you know, these are the Belltech Street Performance, and they are supposed to be, you know, the best, you know, without going to coilovers or, you know, anything like that, you know, best shock. So, uh, first impression, I gotta say, these back ones are massive. I mean, the size of it, and, and, and in a little bit, I'll get the back one off and I'll let you see the size comparison, but that's pretty massive. Now I went with the zero to three for the back and zero to two in the front, because I don't plan on lowering it very much. Um, no more than two inches. So these will, these will be fine for even if I happen to lower it just a touch. Um, they are very, very good shocks. And I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and pop them off, uh, honestly. It's pretty easy to, to, I've replaced shocks on S10. I've been doing it for a long time. And I don't, a lot of times I don't jack it up, but I do have a big jack here. So just to make it ever so slightly easier, I'm probably gonna jack up the front end just to give me a little bit more clearance underneath there. Um, hell, even with my lowered S10, I used to, when I put in the Nitro Drop 2s in it, I, I didn't even, I think I just jacked up the front end and then did it right the way it was, so. It's really easy to do, and I'm about to do it right now, and you're gonna see. So, when doing this, I like to start at the top here. That way, it's got the pressure still pushing up, and you're not constantly, the, the shock isn't constantly trying to drop down as you're, t as you're loosening it up. So, here's a six will work. Uh, ideally, like a seven, I mean not seven, but a five, maybe a five and a half, if you got one, but a six will work. Now, let me show you what I'm gonna do. The bottom isn't really all that hard. As you can see, it's just two bolts that you're gonna be removing. So I believe that is, let's see. I'm not exactly sure what size it is. That is a 13. So I will just be taking this here. There you go, old ratchet here. And I'm just gonna make sure I'm turning it the right direction. Yeah, I mean, it's, you may have to spray them with PB Blaster. Uh, mine I didn't because I'm from down here. I'm not from up north. Um, so I didn't have to, but I'm just going to go ahead and remove these bolts and then I'm going to drop this out and we'll, you know, we're going to compare the difference in the stock OEM size shock to the new ones. So as you can see, this is the difference. This is obviously the OEM and this one over here is obviously the Belltech Street Performance. And yeah, it's, hey, look, this one's still, it's still working its way out. So this one's clearly not any good. Um, so let's see if we can't get this thing all the way out. Okay, so that is all the way out. I, I launched the pieces off of there. <laughs> there they are. So, as you can see, they are the exact same, but this one appears to be, you know, a nice, nice base down here. And this is also a little bit taller, not by much, but about like that much more taller. So, uh, let's install this one right here and see what we got. So obviously it's basically just the reverse of removing it. So uh, you really don't need to see exactly how it goes in. Um, one thing I will note though, when you're doing it, and this met, if you can't seem to slide it up underneath the, uh, you know, going up underneath the control arm, maybe you're lowered or something, maybe you couldn't get it up high enough, whatever the reason. You can actually take these things and I mean, it, you're going to have to put, like, I can't do it sitting down, but, like, what you can do is you can, I think I can do it sitting down. Yeah. All right, so what you can do is you can actually compress it, and as you can see, it's going to, it's going to shoot right back up, but that'll, you can actually compress these down, and if you have the strength to hold it in place, then you can slide it up underneath there and let it go up there, but honestly, if you jack it up, it's not really that big a deal, so. And I'll show you because I mean you have a big hole for this to go in but like these this might be a bit too big so I'm actually gonna show you I'm gonna compress it down using my my strength and hope that this fits and it doesn't so uh, luckily these street performance they come 
with the ability to remove these things and it looks like I got to because this does not fit up in there at all so kind of sucks but it's okay And you just want to push it up in through that little hole up there. And even right here, you're going to have to use your, your man muscles or get a little jack and slide it up underneath there. Now, oh, these things are massive. Uh -huh. They almost don't want to fit up in there. Huh. That's interesting. While this sits right there for a second, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in the bolts up top so I can get a, so I can look at this thing without it falling back at me. So it appears I'm gonna have to do some modifying. Um, these ears stick out a bit too far, so I'm probably gonna chop them off. Well, you, you can't see that about that much. It's not gonna compromise it because the bolts are gonna go through. They're still gonna be holding it. It ain't gonna have anywhere to go because there's gonna be one on either side. So, and I'm mean, honestly, you can get some some of the shocks you buy don't even have ends on them anyway so it's not gonna be that big a deal so don't be dropping in the comments that I'm, I'm messing them up I'm not it's fine I'm gonna go ahead and chop off these little ears right here and then I'm gonna do it to the other one because there's no way that the other one's gonna fit if this one didn't fit so uh, I'll show you what I'm about to do okay so this is what I did here as you can see I chopped them off basically just opened up the ends there uh, because they were just really long so now let's see if they fit now, hopefully this works. It should. I have, I have high hopes. Ah. I'm just putting a nut up on top so it's not just constantly trying to fall on me here. All right, let's see what we got here now. Oh yeah. Oh, that's that's much better. So when I'm tightening this up, I typically like to just tighten it up till it starts to bulge out a little bit. Uh, and remember that they gave you two nuts for a reason. It's not just in case you lose one of them. It's to double nut it. So once you get that first one tight, put the other one on, tighten it down as well. So the back's actually pretty easy. I mean, we're going to remove those nuts up there. Um, you know, right there. And then that nut down there. It's going to be pretty easy. Okay, so what we got here is obviously the OEM. And then here's the street performance. And as you can see, it is bigger. And... These weren't bad. The back ones weren't the problem. It was the front ones. Um, so what I like to do when I do these, and I'm about to show you. Okay, so what I like to do is just go ahead and leave the band tightened on right here. Because we don't really need it off just yet. Because it extends a lot. And it could be a little bit unmanageable if you just cut the bands and try to work with it that way. So we are going to go ahead and tighten her down. And then we'll cut the bands and finish tighten her down all right i'm okay like i said i'm not tightening her all the way down so now what we'll do is take out the handy dandy knife and let it just it's gonna res and then just hold it right there
is probably one of the easier things to do that people overlook, especially on the on like trucks like this where you don't have to compress the the struts and stuff like that. Oh man, like doing the shocks on this shit is just ridiculous easy. So there we go. We got the back done, and we got the front done, and that's that takes care of that. So I mean, slowly by slowly, we're chiseling away more and more of that six hundred thousand mile. Uh, BS so you know that's something I think I still got it I still have the ball joints upper and lower to do I already got those two I'll probably work on those sometime this weekend uh, because I'm gonna need to get the tool to where I can actually pop them off you know it's, it's a whole thing it's gonna take longer than just doing this so yeah um, hopefully you like that video and hit that like subscribe button